Fortescue was in the news again this week for all the wrong reasons after losing yet another top boss in uncertain circumstances. What will this mean for their share price? And do you want to stick around to find out? In today's video, I'll show you what our systemized trend following system thinks about Twiggy Forest's Fortescue Metals Group and what our real money portfolio is currently doing with it. In last week's video, where we continued the real time story of a real money ASX stocks portfolio, I showed you the big profit trade that we recently had on Origin Energy, buying in just before the takeover offer and locking in a big profit by taking the sell signal that our trend following system generated. Today, the story unfolds as I show you another real money trade, this time with Fortescue Metals Group. Did we just buy more? Are we hanging around to see what happens? Or did we just get out? Stick around for the next few minutes and I'll give you all the latest. And in the coming weeks and months, those of you who subscribe to our channel will see plenty of real money losing trades and plenty of real money winning trades because this portfolio and this investing tail is run in real time. It's real life and not some simulation. So both profits and losses are going to happen and you'll see that play out as time rolls on. We don't sugarcoat it and would rather you have a realistic view of the market so you can take the lessons from these videos and apply them to your own investing. And at the very end of the month, we also provide a performance update. So I'll be doing one of those for the next video that I put out. We love hearing your stories too. So make sure to tell us all about your recent trades in the comments below. Okay, so let's jump in and have a look at this trade already. As you know, the company in question today is Fortescue Metals Group. We originally bought Fortescue last month when a buy signal was generated by our systemized process on the 4th of July. At this time, we had some money left over in our portfolio from selling off another stock. The signal at the time was as clear as day. It's unambiguous and being a rules-based systemized process, you just need to follow it. There's no emotion and there's no second guessing. You just go into the market the next day and you buy it. So that's what we did, picking Fortescue up for $22.13 on the 5th of July. It makes your life so much easier because it's as simple as a buy is a buy and a sell is a sell. You also get an alert on the app so you don't even need to open your computer if you don't want to. Okay, so we can see the buy signal for Fortescue on the chart here and also the big red line. This is our LEAP timing indicator, short for Low Effort Adaptive Precision Timing Indicator, and it works as your protection once you get into the trade. Because nobody knows the future, and while you hope that Fortescue's goes off to be the next 100% winner in your portfolio, you've got to protect against the worst happening. That's what the LEAP timing indicator is all about. So once you buy in, you know exactly where you stand and how much is at risk. None of this flying blind and hoping things will pan out the way that you want. You can see that if the price was to fall below the red indicator here at $20.67, you'd see an exit signal telling you to get out. It also ratchets up with the price as it goes along to lock in profits if it does take off. This was a pass trade on Fortescue where you can see the indicator following it up all the way along. You don't want to make that costly mistake that so many investors make and just keep holding on and giving back all the profit while the price falls. It's much better and more efficient to cut out quickly and use that money in something that has a better potential for growth right now. That way it works for you to grow your portfolio much quicker rather than just riding all the ups and downs of the market. Now, when we bought into Fortescue, we weren't looking at the news or who the management was going to be this year. We look at the data behind the stock's price movement and we measure that. Everyone knows that stocks move in cycles, of course, and it's those cycles and their trends that we're really interested in. With a systemized approach, you can measure the actual statistics behind any given stock and see if you're trading with a positive mathematical edge in your favor or whether you're not. So if we delve into the stats of Fortescue Metals Group here, with all the trades the system has generated with it over the past 10 years, we can see that we have a 55.56% win rate. That means that we win just over half the time. Do you know the actual percentage of winning trades versus losing trades your current strategy achieves? It gives you a lot of confidence and helps you to know what to expect over the long term if you do happen to know that. However, knowing that is only part of the story and not the most important part either. The really important information and what gives us confidence more than anything on the amount of winners versus losers is how much bigger your winners are compared to your losers. It's the size of your wins versus your losses that makes all the difference over the long term. On Fortescue Metals Group, 
our average winning trade is a huge 35.27%. And on average, the losing trade is only 8.34%. So that means when we win more than 50% of the time, the winners are on average 4.23 times the size of the losers. 35.27% is 4.23 times bigger than 8.34%. And that's a big positive mathematical edge in your favor. That's why when Fortescue Metals came up with a buy a few weeks ago, we were more than happy to buy it with the money we had left over in our portfolio. We knew before even buying it that there was a positive overall expectancy, so the odds are stacked in our favor. And on average, if it's a winner, we'll make 35.27%. Pretty hard to do that if you don't know the stats of your system and pretty hard to repeat it if you're making all your trade decisions on gut feel on the fly. So are we still holding on and waiting for that 35.27% to materialize or are we selling right now? Well, in fact, on the 28th of July, as the price started to dip, Fortescue gave us a sell signal. We went in the next trading day, which was on the 31st of July, and we sold it. In the end, it was a 2.17% loss. Not a 35% winning trade this time, uh, but we got out quickly and we missed most of the 15% loss that occurred from its peak there. Who knows what will happen from here? Will the sea of red for Fortescue continue to occur or will it bounce up from here? Only time will tell. But now we're out of Fortescue. Not because there's been a top level manager resign and not because we don't have faith in their future prospects, but simply because of all of these factors are causing their share price to fall and we don't want to be in when that happens. The system generates an unemotional, unbiased sell signal and we get out. Simple as that. If it does come back in favour with the market like previously, we'll get an objective buy signal and we'll get back in. Knowing that we have a positive edge and the odds are stacked in our favour over the long term when we do. Anything can happen in the market and it usually does. That's why you've got to have rules set out before you make the trade to tell you what to do in every situation. Otherwise, you're having to make constant decisions on the go, which is likely to cost you money in the long run. Holding on to trades too long and missing opportunities that you should have taken. So if you have an interest in seeing how we do it in detail and would like to take a run through this systemized process with me personally, feel free to call, send an email or book in a Zoom chat. And of course, if you want to keep up to date with some of the new positions that we've bought or sold or would like to learn all the ins and outs of the market and trading with the system, then subscribe to the channel and tap the bell to get all the notifications for all the latest. As always, this video is for education purposes only and shouldn't be taken as specific advice to buy, hold or sell any particular position in the market and that past performance is not a guarantee of future performance. But until next time, when I look forward to showing you around the markets again, I wish you consistent and objective investing. Bye for now.